kiddos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, play the ba Pokemon Battle Academy set. So let's get into it. And also if you want more of the cards details of the Pokemon cards in there and uh, the unboxing video, the link will be in the description. And let's get into today's video. Now this is the big game board and it has uh, the deck area, a discard pile, bench, car, uh, card prizes, and the active spot. So to start off for an example, I'm going to take the Charizard deck, open it up, and place it on the area where it says deck. And I will also need seven cards to keep in my hand and six prize cards here. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I have six cards for the prize cards and it could be in any order you don't have to mix it you don't have to keep it in order or anything it's just all up to you the last one i like to keep it all arranged so that's nice and night and whenever i need it i could get it easily make sure i get some cards to keep in my hand there we go and here are my cards. So you shouldn't be showing these cards to your opponent because then they'll strategize uh, how to defeat you. So first to start it off, uh, we need a basic Pokemon. It would say if your card is a basic Pokemon, if you look right there, and if it's a stage one or a stage two, right there. So I need to put basic Pokemon in my active spot, and I have this Pokemon, which is called Solanda. So I'm going to put it here since it's basic, and it looks pretty good. And don't forget to do the same setup for your opponent, too, over here. And for my opponent, I'm going to use the Pikachu deck. Now, uh, once your opponent's setup is all done, and to uh, see who goes first, you could always flip the coin, and whoever wins can go first. For example, let's say that I win. I can't just use live coal, this attack, or this attack. I have to add energies, and it says the attack cost. It also points it up for you right here. And that's a fire uh, energy. So let's see if I have any fire energies. Well, all I have is fire energies, so I'll put one up there. And you can put more than one energy at a time. And it would it, it would also be very nice to put a basic Pokemon on your bench, because if your active Pokemon dies, uh, then you'll have to put it in the discard pile with its energy, which is right over here. And then if you don't have any Pokemon in your bench when your active Pokemon dies, you lose since you can't play anymore since you don't have Pokemon coming in. So that's why you need to always put Pokemon in there. I only have one more basic Pokemon, so I'm going to put my other basic Pokemon, which is the same card as reactive Pokemon. And I can only use one move and stuff like that. And then all attack, and then the game just keeps on going until the HP goes down to zero. So that's a, a lot of HP. So when it goes to zero, uh, then this would go in the discard pile, and then you just put in other cards in. So this is practically the game, but there's two more things that will help you out a lot. So if I kill this Pokemon or any Pokemon, or even if my opponent kills my Pokemon, that I could get a prize card. There's no order you don't have to go from uh, down to up or up from down or get it from the middle or anything. And I could just grab a prize card and that might help me out a lot. And the same for my uh, opponent also. If my opponent kills my Pokemon, they get a prize card. So the second thing that will help you a lot is trainers, which I say usually say items and supporters. So usually items and supporters are called trainers. And this one is a supporter. Because uh, look, it says shuffle your hand into your deck. Then draw six cards, and it's like a real-life person there, and her name is Cynthia. So what you could do is just put all of your cards in your deck, and then mix it, then grab six more cards. So if you uh, don't have any basic Pokemon, or you only have energies, which won't help you out a lot, you could always use Cynthia. 
and for items i don't have an item in my hand so i'm going to reach out into the deck and find an example but you shouldn't be doing this uh because it's cheating so this is an item right here, and it heals your Pokemon. So if my Pokemon is very low over here, because it only has 70 HP, I could use this potion, and it'll heal 30 damage uh, from one of my Pokemon. There's also other, like, Great Balls, Switches, and there's um, uh, things that are, uh, like, the same, the same stuff. And there's also supporters that lets you get cards, and here's a Great Ball. Let's look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon you find there and put it into your hand. Shove the other cards back into your deck. And they're very helpful. And I would say trainers are super duper helpful. Yeah, that's practically the game. And you might be thinking, how will it end? Well, like I said, if your active Pokemon dies and there's no Pokemon on your bench, um, you will lose and the opponent will win. There's also another way to lose or win. So if I run out of cards in my deck, because every time I have to, every turn, I have to get a card. And there's even a few cards uh, saying to grab another card. So that's useful. And then the cards just keep on going very, very low. And then they just run out at point. And if I'm the one who doesn't have any more cards in my deck, then I, I, then I will lose since the opponent might have more cards in their deck. So they could just keep on playing, grabbing cards and stuff. But I can't because every turn I have to grab a card. And that is practically the game. I hope you guys liked this tutorial of Battle Academy. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!